Hello everyone, I'm Bad Pan, the Bad Who Loves the Sea. In today's video, we're gonna see how to create a slip system like Fierce of Adam in Unity. This video was actually recommended by our dear friend with this ID. Hope all the very best for you wherever you are. What we're gonna cover in this video are create a very simple interaction system to interact with the bed, then create a very smooth black transition, and then creating that creepy typing effect for the text. This video will be put inside a series of videos covering all the tips and tricks. It also will be put inside a series of videos covering functions from the game Fierce of Adam in Unity. I published my VHS style horror game. If you're actually into these types of games i would be very happy if you could check it out there's a link in the description all the folks i created in this video will be in my github you can actually get to it with a link in the description with all that being said let's put on the mask and begin so right here i have an environment I have a player. I'm using the FPS controller from the Unity standard assets. If you wish to use it, you can get it with the link in the description. By default, it is like this. There's a room, you walk around and you see stuff. I want to create that thing that says, for example, night one or night two or anything. So I'm just going to right click here and create a canvas. So UI canvas, I'm going to rename it to night canvas and i'm going to select it in the inspector tab go to this canvas settings put this canvas scaler onto the scale with the screen size give your screen resolution mine is 1920 by 1080 and put this one at 0.5 then inside the canvas i'm going to add a ui panel which is going to cover the whole screen if it didn't just click on this rec transform hold alt and press this one and then i'm going to give it no textures so put it on none i'm going to make it completely black then again i'm going to create a ui text i'm going to use text mesh pro you guys can actually use legacy text but right now i'm going to use text mesh pro add text mesh pro here i'm going to change some settings on it so this is this is going to say night two so to create this effect first i'm going to create the interaction system so we can interact with the bed i created this interaction Interaction system multiple times but again I'm gonna create it because we need it in this video so I'm gonna select my bed we need to give it a collider so we can interact with it so I'm gonna select my bed I'm gonna go to this add component I'm gonna add a box collider as you see this box collider doesn't cover this whole you know bed now for it to cover the whole bed I'm just gonna click on this edit collider I'm gonna you know lower it down now it has a box collider next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a tag so we let unity know that this object is actually a bed and when we interact with it we know that we're interacting with a bed so we're gonna go to this tag section i'm gonna add a tag click on this plus and give it a tag of b e d which is bed be careful the capital and the small versions of the letter matter here so if you add a capital b and a small e you gotta keep the same thing in your script so i'm just gonna give it a bed i'm gonna save it it's not given yet so select your object with the collider again then go to this tag section and give it the tag of bed now our object has a tag of bed i'm gonna move my fps controller a little bit back here so i'm gonna create a new folder i'm gonna call it scripts inside it i'm gonna create a new c sharp script i'm gonna call it first to fathom sleep system double click to open it up i'm gonna first create an interaction system then i'm gonna continue first we get the references for the interaction system so i'm just gonna add a header here just gonna put like interaction and we just give values down here int t so it just doesn't give any error i'm gonna see i'm gonna show you guys what this is header ui again i'm gonna say public int t this one is public int t1 let me just show you what this is we have to give this script to our camera because our interaction system is actually on our camera so i'm gonna drag and drop my script onto my camera as you see there's a header says interaction and t1 is under that and there's also a header for ui and t is under ui and that is what a header does so i'm just going to remove this uh, first we create what we need for the interaction system we need a boolean to check if we can interact or not so we're just going to say public boolean can interact which is equal to true at the start of the game because we can interact for the ui we need the reference to our text mesh pro so up here i'm just going to say using just using tm pro which would actually let us use text mesh pro in here if you're using unity legacy then you're just going to say using unity engine dot ui but I'm not using that and because of that I'm actually using TextMesh Pro so right here we need a reference to our TextMesh Pro so I'm just gonna say I'm gonna use the serialized field private TextMesh Pro UGUI which is actually uh, the text we need a reference to it I'm just gonna call it subtext then we need a private string I'm gonna call it holder which is gonna actually hold the sentence we want to write then we need a private float write speed which is equal to 0.02 for example 0.05 f seconds which is the time it takes for us to write you know for example night one what we're gonna do is we don't need anything to do in word start so we can remove it inside word update we're gonna go ahead and create the interaction system so first we're gonna check if we can interact or not so we're just gonna say if 
can interact is equal to true we go ahead and interact as you see it is true so we can go ahead and interact inside it so for this interaction we're gonna shoot an invisible thing it is called ray so i'm just gonna say ray i'm gonna call it ray which is equal to new ray which will be shot from transform that position to transform that forward i'll create it i'll write both the scripts and then i'm gonna explain it to you ray cast it hit so what are these i explained it a lot in the previous videos but again i'm gonna explain it because we need it in this video and some of the guys might have not seen the previous videos ray is actually an invisible thing that will be shot in the direction we're looking at and if it actually hits something we're gonna put the thing that it hit for example if it hit the wall we're gonna put that wall inside this hit and then we can do some stuff with it and as easy as that the direction is gonna look shoot the ray is actually this from where we are standing to the direction we're forward you know looking forward when we give it to the camera it's gonna shoot it in the direction the camera is looking at then we're gonna say if physics the ray cast out hit in a distance of five for example what it does is it's gonna check if the ray we actually shot hit anything so if it says if the ray we shot actually hit the object it hit an object in a distance of five you can give any distance you want you can give 10 100 or anything we can just don't give any values so it will be you know infinite i'm gonna say for example anything in a distance of five then we can come here and say if the thing we hit has a tag of bed so we know we actually hit the bed so we're just gonna say if hit dot collider dot compare tag if it has a tag of b e d capital b all the other letters are small so it has to be exactly the same thing as your tag in this line we're just gonna say if the ray we shot and hit the object if that object we hit has a tag of bed if it does we can go ahead inside this and do some functions i'm looking at the bed and i say for example if i press the left mouse key or if i press e so i'm just gonna say if input dot get key down key code dot e so if i press e and i'm looking at the bed i can go ahead and sleep so to sleep i'm gonna create another function and that was an, a very simple interaction system for it that you guys can actually use in your own games so I'm, up here i'm gonna say sleep so to create the sleep function i'm gonna go and do it inside an i enumerator the reason i'm gonna do it inside an i enumerator is because i'm gonna wait for some time and do some stuff and i enumerator actually allows us to wait for some time and do some stuff so i'm just gonna say i enumerator i'm gonna call it sleep co co actually stands for core routine and it's gonna throw an error don't worry we'll fix it in the upcoming minutes first we have to make the you know screen black we need an animation for it we didn't create an animation for it so we can kind of go here and and go to this canvas this panel isn't activated by default it is deactivated we can just give this panel an animation and you know just when it starts it's gonna you know run that animation so i'm gonna give it a name of black panel select your object go to this animation tab if you don't have it don't worry just go to window animation and just you know click on this animation for example i don't have it i'm gonna add it so uh, animation animation and you just you know drag and drop this in here and now you have an animation select your object click on this create animation create i'm gonna create a folder i'm gonna call it created anims and inside it i'm gonna say black panel and i'm gonna click on this red dot i'm gonna go to this color with my object selected right click on it and add a key for it i don't want it to be you know black at the start so i'm just gonna change the color to this when you click on this record button it's gonna you know record anything you put in here so then i'm gonna go to for example second one and then I'm gonna turn it to black and as you see now we have a fade in I guess animation you can put it on this you can put it on two to make it slower but you know I think one is okay one thing you have to fix is you're gonna find your animation the animation you created you can you know go to your folder and find it or you can just select your panel and just click this animator tab it goes to your animator and your animation is next to your animator one thing you have to uncheck is this loop time because we don't want to you know loop this animation you know looping is like you know it's gonna you know repeat this animation again and again As you see it's gonna go this and it's gonna come back and do it again and again i don't want this so i'm gonna select my animation and i'm gonna uncheck this loop time and by default my black panel is deactivated so we have a black panel here so we need a reference to our black panel for this interaction i'm gonna put this black panel inside this interaction so serialized field private game object black panel underline go which stands for game object we now have a reference to our black panel so when we sleep we just activate that black panel so black panel go that's active 
true. Once we do that, we're just gonna say can interact equal to false because we don't want to be able to, you know, interact. If you have an FPS controller, you can deactivate it. I have an FPS controller, so I can deactivate it so the player can't move. Doing that is actually very easy. You can just deactivate your script. I'm just gonna say using standard Unity standard assets dot characters dot first person, which would actually let me get the you know FPS controller script. I'm just gonna say serialize field private first person controller script. I'm gonna call it FPS script. When I sleep, I'm just gonna say FPS script dot enable equal to false, which would actually let me deactivate my player's movement. So when I'm sleeping, my player won't move. The screen turns into black and the thing is gonna be written on the screen. So to write that thing, I'm just gonna say write night. I don't wanna, you know, just pop it in. I wanna write it letter by letter. Doing that is actually very easy. I'm just gonna say subtext is equal to empty. I'm gonna reset my subtext value. Subtext is the text reference we get here. And then inside the folder, we're gonna put the thing we wanna write, so I'm just gonna say night 391 for no exact reason. I don't know why I did that. And under it, we're just gonna say for each character called C in our holder. So what this means is for each of these characters inside this sentence holder that we created, for example, N, I, G, H, it goes inside and it's gonna do a function. And the function we wanna do is, I'm just gonna add each letter, letter by letter to my subtext. So it's gonna be subtext.text plus equals C. I wanna wait some time in between writing each letter. So I'm just gonna say yield return new, wait for seconds. I'm gonna wait for the right speed the right speed that we gave up here. And then it's gonna write my character letter by letter and after it's done, I'm gonna come here and you can, you guys can actually, you know, yield, return new, wait for seconds. You guys can actually wait for another second. Then you guys can actually load the next scene. So load the next scene. Loading the next scene is actually very easy. I don't have a next scene right here, but I'm just gonna show you. So using unity engine that scene management, you're gonna write this up here. I'm just gonna say scene manager dot load scene. Just load your scene, which is actually, for example, next scene. Just give your scene's name or you just give its index. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna, you know, turn the screen to black. It's gonna write night 391 and then it's gonna have to wait for one second and it's gonna load the next scene. Since I don't have the next scene, I'm just gonna say debug a log loaded the next scene. So you guys know it actually loaded the next scene. We created the function. We need to reference it up here when we interact. So we're just gonna say start core routine. So start core routine actually lets us, you know, call an I enumerator. That's how you call an I enumerator. So up here we're just gonna say sleep co. Be careful, there are two parentheses, and that's how you call an enumerator. So when we're looking at the bed and we press E, we go ahead and sleep. So we gave the script to our camera. So we're just gonna give the references. It needs a black panel. I'm gonna drag and drop my black panel. We can click on the circle to find it. And there's a face controller. I'm gonna find it here. I only have one object. And I'm gonna give it the subtext. Subtext is here. This is the text mesh pro. And that is it. Be careful, the thing is the text should be empty. The black panel should be off at the start of the game and everything is set. It says night 391. So as you see, uh, it just it was writing as it was turning black. It, the reason is because as soon as I'm you know turning the scene black, I'm you know writing stuff. So to add a delay in between, just gonna say it return new, wait for seconds, wait for one second, then write the night 391. And I'm gonna you know decrease the speed a little bit. So write speed should be to five. You just can actually tweak the you know speed. So we can go ahead and check it out again. So just select it. I can go ahead and sleep on my bed. Night 391. And it loaded and it loads the next scene. It actually loads the next scene. As you see, it says loaded the next scene, the debug the log that we created. So that was how to create the sleep system like first the Fatim in Unity. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, a like would be very amazing. You can actually subscribe to see more contents like this. You guys can actually tell me anything in the comment section below. Maybe some suggestions or anything you want to see in the comment section. I'm gonna thank you guys for all your support. You guys are amazing. Hope all the very best for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.